Hi, my name is Xander Winther. I am the TA actually here at uh, Asia 210, this inaugural edition of our Traditions of Yoga class. I'm also a master's student in the Asian Studies Department. So to tell the story of how I came to yoga, I think it might be helpful to go back to my undergrad days. Actually, I was an undergrad student here at UBC a number of years ago. And at the time, I actually had little or no interest in yoga or really any kind of physical activity, to be, to be honest. I was studying philosophy at UBC, and that was the kind of path I was on for a while. I ended up doing a master's degree at the University of Waterloo and then made a transition into social work um, and homeless services work, mostly in the U.S. And it was during a stressful time working for homeless service providers that I realized I needed to make some personal, healthier choices, basically, in, in life. And one of the things, one of the many things I wanted to do at that time was try yoga. In truth, I was pretty intimidated uh, and resisted going to a class for quite a while, but after eventually trying one vinyasa class, I was sold and practiced every day for a number of years. So the style of yoga that I teach in Vancouver right now is often just described as vinyasa and for the first few years of my own practice I was just taking classes called power or flow or vinyasa and I didn't really know where that came from, how old it was, um, what the tradition of vinyasa really was at all. Eventually I became a little bit more curious and I learned about this important character in the history of yoga, Sri Krishnamacharya and studied some traditions or some lineages that come from his teachings. The first one that I really dove into, and in some ways it's the bedrock of my style of yoga, is known today as Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga. And this is the style of yoga that Sri Krishnamacharya taught uh, Patabi Joyce in Mysore in the 1930s and 40s. It's a very structured, very linear, you might even say kind of masculine approach to the practice where the order of the postures never changes, the precision of the breath is exact, um, and it can be quite physically demanding. And I still teach in this style and a lot of my classes are derived from the Ashtanga Vinyasa style. And then I was also fortunate to study with another living student of Sri Krishnamacharya's, one of only a couple living students of his today, Sri Vatsa Ramaswamy who teaches a style of Krishnamacharya's yoga that he refers to as Vinyasa Krama. And it's similar to Ashtanga, but it's more flexible. So the postures exist in little subroutines and you can mix and match them and you can do the parts that work for you. And today I'm basically integrating components of both of those styles. So on the one hand, a little bit of the very rigid and in some cases kind of aggressive Ashtanga Vinyasa style. And on the other hand, the more uh, sort of flexible in terms of sequencing vinyasa krama style. 